So the first thing we're going to do with our patient is we're going to clean her teeth for putting braces on. So I have her trophy angle that I'm going to open in front of her so she knows it's clean and has not been used on anyone. I'm going to lace it here. staying on the tooth very long, just making sure that we're removing the um, oils and things. Any uh, plaque that she might have. And then the next step would be to suction. Okay. Very good. And the purpose of this is to keep the lips off the teeth. Tip chin up a little bit. There you go. All right. Now, this is your tongue guard. So your tongue fits in it just like that. And these little side pieces connect into the cheek retractors. And open. Sometimes it's hard to get them in there. All right. Now we're going to connect this to the suction. So instead of having the saliva ejector hanging off of her, we're going to have it automatically connected right here. Okay. All right. You hear it suctioning? Mm -hmm. Okay. So like I said, you want to make sure the teeth are clean and now dry. And I'm just going to lay that there since this is my daughter. You're going to take your gel at. And we're just going to do the front four teeth and put it right where the bracket's going to go. No need to cover the entire tooth. So we're going to do upper two to two. Okay. So how long do we leave that on there? 30 seconds. Okay. You always want to make sure that you ask if there's a new etch or something, you either read the manufacturer's instructions because some might say 45 seconds. So for this one, it's 30 seconds. Okay. So after 30 seconds, we would take a high volume evacuator and suction that off. So this, this is gonna get it up. And then we're gonna air dry it. And can you see how chalky it is? See that? It's not as glossy like that. Right. So we're just going to dry it off a little bit more. And even with the lower teeth dry, look how much glossy that is. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now, everything's ready for the enamel rods to receive the sealant. So we're going to take the light pure sealant. Put just a little bit on the brush 
And you've heard the term, don't double dip, right? Mm -hmm. If I touch your teeth, don't touch this again. So I'm gonna put a little bit there and you're gonna paint it just like you paint your nails. Just a thin coat. So how do you know if it's enough? Like, it's just like you know how to paint your nails, oh. not, not to gloss it on. And then this is your trimming white. Okay? So I'm going to put that on uh, 10. This is your amber white so that you don't look at this bright light, okay? And you do 10 seconds per tooth. It automatically cuts off. Hit it again. It beeps every five seconds. So the other thing you could do is put it on 20 and then count two beats per two, okay? bracket holder and this is set up just like her mouth you see those cross marks mm -hmm. it's what I drew on the board right mm -hmm. so there's your midline there's the upper left one upper left two upper right one upper right two so I'm just going to take this off so that's how I'd be in the office too uh-huh oh, I, mm -hmm. I thought they was doing that on their own yeah, I'm gonna take the light paste, this is your glue. Squeezing that together a little bit so it don't move on me and shoot across the room. Pull back on that, this is light cured so you don't want the bright lights above to, to get on it. Take your spatula and you wanna push that into the back of the bracket. The back of the bracket has a mesh pad on it, kind of like a window screen. And you're just building up a little thin layer, just like that. And then we're gonna place it. And there's um, an identification dot that should point this one, gingival. So when I look at that, there's that red dot. So I have it upside down. Mm -hmm. And that identification dot tells you where it needs to be. Uh -huh. So here's your midline. And every tooth on this side, the back part is the distal. So that's distal, and then the gum is gingival. It always points distal gingival. Hold on, say that again. It always points to the Oh, I'll show you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now here's the upper right one. And you see there's a white dot. If this is the midline, the part of the tooth furthest from the midline is the distal. It's always distal, gingival, pointing towards the gum. So it's gonna be on that upper. Okay. Yeah, see that? Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how many more teeth do we have to go? Two. So this is your lateral. Now I'm gonna grab the upper left lateral. Put a little bit of glue on the back. 
push it in with my spatula. Just like that. And that was the upper left two. Now I'm going to do the upper right. So here's your upper right two. And when they sit down, they're going to look for the long axis of the tooth. They're going to position it. Now, when they push it down, it's getting real close to the tooth, and the glue behind it is going to squirt out a little bit. So we're going to take off that excess, and you'll see them put it on their glove. And then straighten that bracket right where it needs to be. Now sometimes that glue will go up under a tie wing. And when that happens, they'll take a quarter round burr and just clean it up so that you can put the power oil around it or the leaf to tie. I wish they didn't make it white because it's hard to see, especially when you're older and it's, <laughs> your vision starts to go. So, they're going to check it, make sure it's seated all the way, and then say, okay, light them up. Now, if I touch that bracket, it's going to move, right? So, I'm going to put this on 20 minutes, uh, 20 seconds. I'm going to put that amber shield here. But when I do this, I can't put it on top of the bracket. Light doesn't travel through metal. So I'm going to have the patient open a little bit. I'm going to shine it right up the incisal edge to hit under the bracket. And again, depending on manufacturer, uh, this is 20 seconds per tooth. Uh huh. Now, the other thing is, without touching the bracket, I can do a finger rest and look away. And hit, I'm going to hit the button so don't look at it. And that way, this uh, light is not going to move anywhere. Moving on to the next two. Position. Hit the button. And the last two. And I'm going to look away.
Now, some orthodontists will say for good measure, the light's going to be stronger and set up faster closest to the light, correct? So sometimes they'll say go in between the teeth to get the mesial or above it to get the, um, the gingival side, but we're not going to do that tonight. Now, this is going to be very sour tasting, so a lot of times I'll rinse the patient's mouth out a little bit and then we're going to take this out in one piece, just like that, okay? And can you get that green light off? All right, so I'm going to let the patient just sit here for a second. Go ahead and lay back, sweetie. All right. Now, the next step, I'm gonna take this and put this on the tray because it's contaminated, okay? The next step would be um, taking the arch wire and placing that on the brackets. So we're gonna take the Usually you start out with like a 14 nitide. Nitide stands for uh, nickel titanium. And so <clears throat> it's important. It's important to have, um, can you still see in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're very good. All right. So this is way too long. If I just stick that in there, it's gonna poke her back there. And, you know, I had braces and I know that that happens. Um, so let's not be lazy. What I suggest is um, take her models and size it up to the models and then cut it. And this distal end cutter, because Anything away from the midline is distal. This distal end cutter is going to cut and hold so it doesn't shoot across the room um, or in her eyes. But still, these things, you know, get dull. I always point it at the floor and then put it on the tray. Okay? So, open a little bit. So, there's a little dimple there, and that dimple tells you, or sometimes it's straight with a little identification dot, it tells you to put it right between the centrals where the midline is, okay? So, um, I'm gonna take my math out, and I'm gonna grab some pretty colors for her. All right. And I could even go shorter on this, but I'm gonna show you what it's like to um, clip it in the mouth. Okay, so I'm gonna grab one of my Power O's, or elastic ties, whatever you call it. Um, the dimple points up. Open, sweetie. I'm gonna put that in the center. Make sure it gets in the slot. This particular bracket, it's either an 18 gauge or a 22 gauge. I like the 22 gauge. It gives you the option to use heavier wires later on. So I'm gonna hold her lip out of the way, get a good finger rest, and I'm gonna start here and just go around those tie wings, okay? And the elastic ties hold the wire into the bracket. So then I'm gonna grab. I was one. always amazed how they did that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they click yeah. It. yeah. It's like click, click, very fast. So around all four tie wings. So you go down a. I always start, um, and again, her teeth are uneven, okay? Um, you look at the, the gingival height where the teeth are. Um, I'm gonna put the 14 eye tie where it should be. And then I start upper, lower, and then up, okay. and then, but I've got a good finger rest. And 
and then we're going to get this little tooth over here. Okay. Now, it's all tied in, but if you leave that, th this is called a pokey wire. It's going to poke her. Mm -hmm. There's no, it's not tied in. So we go over here and clip it, and it holds it. And that's why I like to do it ahead of time, because if you do that in the mouth, it could shoot back into her cheek. And then you're gonna come over here and clip that one. Now, I didn't clip them flush, because you're gonna want, because it's a flexible wire, you're gonna wanna turn it with a cinch back tool or um, a cinch back plier, okay, or a howl plier. And so, if I did not do that, it would really tear up her, mm -hmm. her uh, lips, and she would have to put wax all over that, mm -hmm. okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and clip it flush. And if I run my finger through, I'll catch that wire. And there we go, there's that wire. All right, and that's how simple it is to put braces on. Okay.